Hey guys, this is Brandy. Um, I wanted to show you guys how I added this word speech bubble to my image. So here's the after image, but this is what it looks like before. So yeah, I added the word speech bubble to it, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a website called worldclouds.com. So I'm gonna bring up the internet, and I'm already on the website. So the first thing we're gonna do is you want to find some texts that you want to add to your image. So I just looked up uh, some poems and I like this one right here. So I'm going to copy and paste. Uh, so to select your text, you just click and drag, right click and select copy. Now I'm going to go to word list right here and I'm going to click on paste type text. I'm going to right click and paste the text. I'm going to delete this right here and select apply. Okay, so next we're going to select the shape. So they have different shapes that you can choose, but for this case, I'm going to select the speech bubble. Now for the colors, I'm going to do a white background. So change that to white. And for my text, I'm going to change it to black. I'm going to click on apply. Now I want my font to be, let's see, I'm going to click Palatino. And now I'm going to increase the size of my word bubble. And that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to change the direction of my text. Right now they're kind of going all over the place, so I'm just going to continue to click this until uh, everything is kind of front facing. So right there is perfect, and I'm going to start adjusting the size of my bubble a little bit more. And right there is fine. So now you want to go here where it says size, and I usually use the 1024 by 768, so I already have that selected. Okay, I had to make quick adjustments because me reselecting my size changed the way my speech bubble looked. So make sure you change this, you uh, adjust the size before you get started with everything else. Okay, so now we're going to save this. I'm going to click on File and save as PNG. So it's starting to download right here. And I'm going to click show in folder. So now I'm going to bring Photoshop back up. And now I'm going to bring up the folder that my Word, Word Cloud is in. I'm going to click and drag that image over. So now I'm going to place this right near my mouth. I can't really see right now, but <laughs> right about here. And click this chain link right here. And now I'm going to start adjusting the size of my speech bubble. So I'm going to put it here for now, but I'm for sure that I'm going to end up changing it. So I'm going to select the check mark. Okay, so now I have this white block over my face, which isn't cool whatsoever. So we're going to change that by uh, changing the blending mode to multiply. And there we go. That took care of that. So I'm going to click on my box again, select the chain to keep my proportions. And now I'm going to start adjusting the size. Now I'm going to click on my check mark. And now this is personal preference, but I, I want to lower the opacity of the text so they're not so bold. I, so I'm going to click here on the opacity and lower it down a tad. 57 sim, seems good. And that's about it. So before and if you guys after. like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, comment down below. And if you would like to see any of my future tutorials, be sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.